Well, no snow widespread here, but the mountains will get a chance as we go into uh, early next week. We do have rain coming our way. In fact, I've made Sunday an impact day. Showers do begin on Saturday, but the bulk of this will fall Saturday night into Sunday. and It'll be widespread across the area. I'll show you new totals and timing in just a moment. We're clear right here, but look toward the west. We do have some clouds moving in that arrives tomorrow, but still rain free. It's tomorrow night into Saturday. We get in on some rain 54 in Greenville and Spartanburg, 56 in Asheville and 57 in Anderson. We are soaking in on a nice day, a bit on the cool side uh, by about four or five degrees below where we should be for this time of the year. But looking ahead, it is going to be an above average day tomorrow. We'll start off in the mid to upper 30s tomorrow. Some of us get close to freezing in the rural areas, but as we move forward tomorrow, will generally speaking be a slightly warmer day. Reason being is our winds are out of the south southwest, bringing in some of that warmth. So we'll top out closer to 60 tomorrow at about four or five degrees to today and some cloud cover. So keep that in mind. Tomorrow will be sunny just mixed with a few clouds. Asheville and Hendersonville clouds on the increase. Temperatures get close to 60 as well. We'll call it 62 in Asheville, 62 as well as Spartanburg and Greenville, 63 in downtown Anderson. Now looking ahead, let me show you when the rain does arrive. First come the clouds and then on Saturday, uh, the rain's going to be spotty, hit and miss. Uh, not for everybody, but here it comes. 7 a.m. We'll have occasional showers move through Greenville and Spartanburg, over through Pickens. It's not going to be all day long, so you may see the ground get wet. You may get an hour or two of dry time and then here it comes again. But what I see here is some scattered activity in the morning and then optimistically speaking, I see a break during the afternoon, three, four, five o'clock. Many of us should be dry. Notice there are still a few showers, but it's not just pouring rain. That comes later in the evening. I think 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, we'll begin to see some really heavy rain move through. So we might be able to get that Greenville parade in without any rain, although it's going to be close and there'll be some rain around it. It looks like there will be heavy rain developing as we go into Sunday. That rain is just pouring down. It's widespread and it's heavy at times. That will linger through most of Sunday where we'll get about an inch across the area. Here we are picking things up Sunday morning. The front itself is crossing through during the afternoon. Might give us a rumble of thunder with some of this activity, although our severe risk looks limited with this one. It changes to snow on the backside late Sunday night into Monday morning for the mountains north of I-40, and then we clear things back out. Much of next week looks to be smooth sailing. Typical pattern, typical El Nino, to be honest with you. You get days and days of calm, dry weather, and then boom, here comes another low. We'll look toward late next weekend for another system to try to develop back toward the southwest, but it looks like we do get a five or six day break from the rain. So how much? The models are in agreement here with us getting about an inch, but the Europeans still coming in much wetter at about 1.6 inches across the area, so we'll keep you posted. Severe outlook, certainly some severe weather back to the west with this system. It's a powerful low and an attending cold front that just means business. As we go through Saturday night into Sunday, that storm fuel or instability kind of shrinks to the south a bit. We'll have to watch that. One, does it rob our moisture into our area, which is probably what the GFS is picking up on, where we get closer to an inch, or do those storms not really form and that moisture comes all the way into our area, which is why we have more rain on the other models. Either way, it's going to get windy. It's going to get rainy. Those gusts Saturday into Sunday get up to 20, even pushing 30 to 40 miles per hour around this front coming on through. So the four day looks like this increasing clouds tomorrow, 60 scattered showers on Saturday, but not a washout. 61 will be the high. It's an impact day on Sunday with widespread soaking rain and windy conditions. We clear things out and stay cooler than normal for much of next week. Lots of sunshine with highs in the 50s. Western North Carolina, you can expect some rain to begin at times on Saturday, widespread on Sunday, then clearing out and cooling down.